Welcome back to our study this week. Will you welcome me is the question. And the, uh, the rest of the question is, will you welcome me when the sun rises? That's what we're asking today. As we look at Malachi chapter 4, verses 2 through 3. So, fearing the name of the Lord. Fear his name is what we're talking about. Fearing the name of the Lord uh, and judgment went hand in hand in the mind of the Israelites. Moses warned them in Deuteronomy 28, If you are not careful to do all the words of this law that are written in the book, that you may fear this glorious and awesome name, the Lord your God, then the Lord will bring on you and your offspring extraordinary afflictions, afflictions severe and lasting, and sickness, sicknesses grievous and lasting. And he will bring upon you again all the diseases of Egypt, which you were afraid, and they shall cling to you. Every sickness also and every affliction that is not recorded in the book of this law, the Lord will bring upon you until you are destroyed. Whereas you are as numerous numerous as the stars of the heaven, you shall be left few in number, because you did not obey the voice of the Lord your God. And as the Lord took delight in doing you good and multiplying you, so the Lord will take delight in bringing ruin upon you and destroying you. And you shall be plucked off the land that you are entering to take possession of it. Fearing the glorious and awesome name of the Lord was the hinge upon which judgment or blessing turned. So there are three pictures of blessing mentioned in connection with fearing God's name. The first is the sun of righteousness, righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. The sun rising with its wings is a picture of the really the beams of light that spread across the sky at dawn. So as you see the sun coming up and those shafts of light coming out, that's the idea here. Those are the wings. The righteousness of God will break upon the sin-darkened world and would bring healing. Zechariah says as much in uh, Luke 1, Because of the tender mercy of our God, whereby the sunrise shall visit us from on high to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. This is a clear picture of Jesus who would bring his righteousness and heal his people from their iniquity. The second picture is stated this way, You shall go out leaping like calves from the stall. A calf that has been penned up in a stall would when released, leaps about because it's been set free. Such is the joy of God's people who fear him when they experience the joy unspeakable and full of glory. The third picture is of victory. You shall tread down the wicked, for they will be ashes under the soles of your feet. Psalm 58 describes it this way, The righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mankind will say, Surely there is a reward for the righteous. Surely there is a God who judges on earth. These are the blessings promised to those who fear the name of the Lord. Yet, who are those that fear the Lord? Well, that brings us to our final section, which we'll look at next time.